Now for all the hype, AI can't create video with high production values, at least not yet. But for a creator with a limited budget and a big imagination, AI is opening up a whole new world of creativity. In China, creators are making micro-dramas that are racking up millions of views. Brevity has always been a dangerous tool in the hands of a writer. But for those writing ultra-short video dramas, tight scripts isn't a virtue. It's the only currency that works. 30 seconds to 2 minutes. Plot, character, closure. Do it fast, do it well, and the algorithm might just notice you. Then again, don't bother. AI can do this just as well, in half the time. In China, there's a series called Strange Mirror of Mountains and Seas. Monsters, heroes, impossible skies. Even the humans, all of it generated by AI. It's been watched over 50 million times. Chen Kun, the creator, says micro-dramas are perfect targets for AI. The screens are small, the audience distracted, and the flaws, who notices when they're scrolling on the subway. When watching micro-dramas, people may more often regard it as a kind of entertainment to fill the gaps of their daily lives. During these times, people have more tolerance and may not have such high requirements for the quality of the videos. Therefore, even though AI cannot yet achieve the production quality of traditional filmmaking today, it can, as a first step, meet the needs of micro-dramas. Micro-drama studios are now swapping actors and screenwriters for algorithms, raising the kind of alarm bells that echo across every creative industry. Chen used ChatGPT for the script, Mid Journey for stills, Kling for motion, Suno for the music. Humans were retained only for editing and voice work. It's so accessible. It lowers the cost of production so much. It makes everything so much faster. At the Shanghai Vancouver Film School, students are already being trained to think like prompt engineers. They type ideas into design, an AI image editor, and within moments, the screen floods with polar bears and explorers. People find it funny because it's another way of storytelling. You can get a lot of, you know, wow factor, a lot of crazy things, especially in short dramas, for example, they're doing a lot of fantasy stuff. Abadia has even built her own virtual assistant using Alibaba's Gwen. In seconds, it spins out a crime plot involving a wedding photographer who didn't know he was part of the conspiracy. A photographer who stumbles into a crime through his work? That's a classic setup. Let's start with the basics. Abadia tells her students to prepare for a future where every role in film requires AI literacy. And that future, as someone once said, marches on whether you stand still or not. Still, she insists her students must also go out, shoot with humans, real cameras, real light, real sweat. Because the world of make-believe still needs something that believes. Some people use AI simply because it's more cost-effective, while others simply say they want to shoot with real people because it's more real. In Hollywood, the same argument turned into a war. AI became a flashpoint during the writers' and actors' strikes of 2023. This year, the launch of a digital actress named Tilly Norwood lit another match. But Chen, the strange mirror creator, doesn't see doom. He sees transformation. He predicts a rise in prompt engineers, a new class of artisans who don't paint or shoot, but instruct machines on what to imagine. Artists, meanwhile, are worried their work is being stolen and scraped into the data sets that feed these new digital muses. But Chen shrugs at that concern. Whether AI-generated content has copyright really depends on how much human intelligence was involved in the creation process, or whether it's more reliant on the accidental content that AI produces. What is original and what is merely new is not always clear. And at the end of the day, AI merely regurgitates different combinations and takes on human creativity that it's been trained on. For now, we're living in a world where a story can be told in under two minutes by no one at all.